yeah welcome back again welcome to this new video guys i have a news for you guys today my paypal account was limited as you can see on the screen right here it actually says you can't use paypal anymore blah 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 and um all the information right here so, so i have my paypal account limited now i'm going to show you why this account was limited and um, what I did and uh, what I should have done and um, how you can safeguard your account. Now, before I dive straight show you guys what really happened, I want to let you know that I have several other PayPal's that I use for my business as well. So, and this PayPal account has $370 right here on this account. So, I can't actually withdraw this money out, but I'm going to show you exactly what happens and everything you need to know so make sure to watch this video to the end in order for you to really understand it okay so guys if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe turn on the icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel and if you are subscribed already thank you very much now let's get straight into the video okay so guys like you guys know i've been using this account i use this account a lot to do my arbitrage just like i show you on my channel how to make money online doing paypal arbitrage so i have a lot of videos about it right here on my channel so i use this account to do most of those transactions as you can see i have quite a lot of numbers of transactions 500 dollars 520 200 550 you know a whole lot of transactions with this account and this account has been with me for over two years okay so i've been using this account for over two years so it's a very very um, old account and it actually does the job but um during the last few couple transactions i had with this account um there have been you know some um violations according to paypal which i'm not supposed to do and uh, let me show you one of those violations so if we go to uh resolution center um where is it again where is it again where is it again okay let me look for resolution center um i think it should be here so i'm kind of looking for resolution center right now okay so um just let me locate resolution center and show you exactly so what i need to show you yeah so resolution center is loading as you can see here i can't see my resolution center um messages anymore but what i wanted to show you is this account has couple of no uh, couple amount of um dispute okay so when i was using this paypal account for my paypal arbitrage um there has been um quite a um, couple of um disputes i think around six disputes and um some of those disputes are customers that have bought paypal funds from and they are actually requesting for their money back as you can see right here this transaction here says refunded refunded these are people that actually refunded payment in after i've paid and that's the way people um used to scam people with this paypal so i learned that the hard way and that's why i'm sharing it to this channel so that you will make the same mistake that i did so i was taking funds um, from people whether family and friends or goods and services now i must tell you the truth do not take goods and services payment especially if you are doing arbitrage with it now if you have a store or you have um something that you sell of course you want to use goods and services so that um it's easier and um, customers can pay you anyhow with it but if you are running arbitrage with it make sure you take your funds as family and friends now like i said i have other paypal accounts that i use for my arbitrage now um this account is just there but i just want to use this as a lesson to you people to show you that um, people are actually not good well people are bad and once they pay you money and um you you know kind of send them the equivalent and you want to do arbitrage with it um they will try to request the money back and immediately to do that paper is going to hold the money and um you know ask you to refund or you should prove that you've sent something you know most of the times you can't actually defend the payment so you, you are left with no other option than to send the money back to the person okay so that exactly what happened to this account i think around six of those uh, money was put on dispute and as a time at that time i have a lot of hold a lot of money up to one thousand dollars there on hold okay so um you need to be very careful people are wicked and 
that's why this account got limited because i was unable to settle all those disputes and later i tried to transfer money to my bank account as you can see here transfer to bank i tried to transfer this money to bank account 264 dollars but it was denied and immediately it was denied as you can see here denied in immediately it was denied my account got limited so i can't use the account anymore just like you see here i can't use the account and uh, they said here yeah, any bank or credit card information linked to this paypal account cannot be removed so i can't remove any bank uh, or credit or card that i've linked to this account neither can it be used to create a new account so i can use those bank or card to create a new paypal account you still you can still log in and see your account information but you can't send or receive money any money in your balance will be held for 180 days after which we will send you an email with instructions about transferring your money so um yeah this is the information i got and i felt like i need to update you guys if you are going to be doing paypal arbitrage make sure you do family and friends do not keep your money on paypal like i said do not keep your money on this platform okay to avoid all these kind of issues okay so um yeah so after 180 days i'm also going to withdraw this money into my bank account and when i'm going to do that i'm going to record the video i'm going to show you guys how to withdraw your font whenever it's get banned after 180 days how to get your money out of this platform paper okay so um if you want to create a new paypal account just like i have i have several paypal accounts then you need to watch my videos on how to set up a paypal business account and i'm going to be making a new one soon on how to set up paypal business account so that you can take advantage of it so this is the video how to set up a working paypal business account watch this video and set up a paypal business account for yourself um very si very simple okay so that is the information i said let me come and pass across to you guys now if i go to this section called banks and cards we are going to see that i have three banks that have linked to this account yeah i've linked this um wells fargo i've linked community federal service and i've also linked this community federal service okay so this first one community federal service is from payunia this one is from grail and this wells fargo is from um geekpay.africa which i've showed you guys in my video so um this platform gives me these bank accounts now unfortunately i can't use any of this bank account to create another paypal account but fortunately i have linked my payoneer this bank account to some other some of my other paypal accounts so that way i can still use it to withdraw and i actually went to geekpay.africa to request for a new wells fargo bank which they gave me and i've linked that to my new paypal as well now this community federal savings from grill doesn't work anymore so this account is as good as useless okay so um that's how i've been able to go through and pass through all this stuff so i'm just patiently waiting for 180 days to get this money out of this account then um continue to use my other paypal accounts for my arbitrage stuff okay so it still works arbitrage still works but you just have to be very careful with paypal and um, people you buy fonts from like i said do not buy goods and services whenever you're going to buy font make sure you tell them you want to buy font and they should send it to you as family and friends so that way it's going to appear at your balance immediately and you can transfer it to your bank account immediately so um that is the update i have for you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe for more turn on the bell icon so that i'm going to update you guys and show you exactly um what you need to do okay so if you use paper like me i'll advise you to do what i've said in this video don't keep your phones don't store your phone right here transfer your money out always and um or make sure you're always getting family and friends phones not goods and services now if you don't know the difference well um you need to ask me in the comment section i will tell you the difference in the comment section but basically the difference is just with family and friends you're going to get your balance immediately here and services your money will be on hold okay and uh, you don't want that for your payment you don't want that for your money okay so um that will be the and you make sure to watch this video on your screen right now and um yeah for you to get more information so thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next one